What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and uh, today I've got something kind of funny to talk about with you guys. I guess you could call this the Call of Duty that never happened. So uh, at one point, about eight years ago, there was a studio called Vicarious Games, and this studio is owned by Activision, and they were working on a new kind of Call of Duty set in ancient Rome. It was called Call of Duty Roman Wars, and the game followed the story of Julius Caesar's 10th Legion. And uh, Caesar was like a, a huge Roman, you know, general politician, just kind of like famous guy. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. And uh, his 10th Legion was kind of like his special forces, like his SWAT team or his Navy SEALs or, you know, whatever you want to say. And uh, so this game was based off of that, and it featured everything from first and third person sword combat, riding on battle elephants, which could, you know, stomp on different soldiers, and, and you know, they were actually like a war tool. Um, there was riding horses around, there were working catapults, there was all kinds of stuff. And uh, they said that it was primarily sword versus shield combat, Unfortunately, the development was stopped before they got to like, you know, bows, spears, and you know, all kinds of stuff that, you know, you shot at enemies. There's even a feature in progress where you're gonna be able to throw sand at people as kind of like a, a visual deterrent, kind of like a flashbang or a, a, you know, stun or something like that. But uh, yeah, so most of it was based on kind of sword versus shield combat and like blocks and parries and timing things right. And we've seen a lot of games like that recently. Like some of you guys have played The Witcher or um, there was that one game, was it Rise, R-Y-S-E? It was a launch title with the Xbox One. I was super hyped about that game. And then it ended up being kind of a flop. It died pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, it was kind of like, it was a mix of all of those games, but Call of Duty, which would have been absolutely insane. And uh, initially it said that it was received well by the Activision executives, but then there were suspicions that it didn't really fit in with the Call of Duty brand. You know, obviously Call of Duty at that point, it always has been a military shooter. So, you know, throwing in an ancient Rome war would have been a little bit weird, and thus it was canceled. And uh, interestingly enough, the studio behind it ended up going on to create Guitar Hero and Skylanders, which uh, is obviously one of the most popular kids games of all time. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. I mean, I just, I found this kind of interesting. I wanted to share with you guys just like a, a little bit of, I guess, COD history trivia knowledge, I guess you could say. Uh, but just like think about if this would have happened, how crazy that would have been. I mean, think about what people are saying today. They're saying that Infinite Warfare is too far from Call of Duty's roots. A lot of people aren't happy that we're going this far into space and this far into the future, and they just, they want that old school boots on the ground, gritty, kind of like World War II, uh, you know, era shooter. Think about what they would have said if we went back to ancient Rome. But actually, that's a good question. What would you rather have this year? Would you rather have infinite warfare going slightly into the future but still kind of keeping that boots on the ground feel? Or would you have preferred to go all the way back to riding elephants and throwing spears? Which would have been better? I don't know. I think I would prefer infinite warfare, but uh, the, this, the idea of an ancient Rome Call of Duty isn't really a bad thing to me. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Uh, you know, like I said, it uh, you know it was kind of like it was an idea. It was a pitch. It was uh, uh, you know they had like some some very low level you know assets done and, and little cutscenes and stuff like that before they ended up scrapping the idea and uh, moving on with the series in the way that they did. So uh, I think they made the right choice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Make sure you guys check out these for screen. Seen yet? Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.